Have you ever met somebody that you are glad you're not like them? You see how they are, you see what they do, and you make a determined effort not to follow their example. We're going to talk a little bit about that today. Hi, and welcome to Encouraging Word. It's a brief daily word of encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and I'm so glad that I have the chance to chat with you today. You know, we all love the story of the prodigal son. We see ourselves in this story. We love the story of the younger son coming home, having wasted his life, but finally coming to his senses, returning home, hoping for a second chance. And uh, we, we love that story, that story of redemption, that story of turnaround. Uh, we love the story of the father waiting, expecting for his son to come home, extravagant in his welcome. You know, bring a robe, a ring, shoes, steak, everything he can. And to, to welcome this son home, to show his love and, and uh, the, the instant celebration, the joy that's in the father's heart. You know, this my son who is dead is now alive again. And he's so excited about that. We love that. We love knowing that we serve a God who accepts us and welcomes us regardless of whatever we've done. We can always come home. We can always find a relationship with God. Of course, the older brother, we don't really like that story that much, and we, we don't want to follow his example. We kind of um, uh, kind of wish the story had ended before we talk about the older brother. Um, but the reality is there is always an older brother. There's always someone who is self-focused, bitter, whiny, and complaining. Um, and like someone said, all of us have a bit of the older brother in us. Um, we have some of those traits in us. It's all too easy to fall into that trap of seeking what we want and what makes us feel good and not caring who gets hurt in the process. Uh, David did it. Moses did it. Abraham did it. Uh, the disciples, uh, while they listened to Jesus teach about loving others and being kind to others and caring for others, yet they uh, easily slipped into the conversation where they began to argue amongst themselves about who was the greatest and wondering who was going to sit next to Jesus in heaven. We all do this. We all uh, have times when we turn the focus on ourselves and we want what we want. We really don't care about other people. And um, it's funny, the, the older brother actually is just like us just like the younger brother, I should say. He's just like the younger, younger brother in that he was rebellious. The only difference was he didn't get his hands dirty. He didn't end up in the pig slop. Uh, he was respectably rebellious, and he respectably turned his heart away from God and, and didn't end up uh, doing what the younger brother did. You know, sadly, uh, talking about the older brother is almost like looking in the mirror at times. Uh, he gets sulky, if that's, if that's a word, and, and just plain miserable. Um, the Bible says that the older brother became angry and refused to go in to the celebration. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, look, all these years I've been starving, uh, slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Man, I've met people like that. And you've met people like good people, really good people. But um, they end up being uh, bitter and whiny and, and thinking, you know, look at me, look at all I've done. And uh, uh, it, it just kind of shows through their personality. Jesus said, love one another. Jesus said, uh, give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Philippians says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather than humility, value others above yourselves. We know what we need to do. We know that we need to just stop this selfish road that we're on. And we know that we need to um, turn to God and ask God for help. Ask God to help us in our relationships at home, in our relationships with other people at the church. We need to stop the selfishness and start looking at what we can do to help others, encourage one another. You know, there are so many one another uh, commands in the Bible, in the New Testament. Uh, the church is really not about us. It's about one another. And we support one another, encourage one another, pray for one another, uh, do kindly for one another. We, it, it's, it's about one another. And when we begin to focus on ourselves, the church is no longer the church. It becomes a very selfish uh, group of people all looking out for themselves. And that's not what God wants. Uh, 
we need to take a look at the selfless love of Jesus, uh, uh, washing the disciples' feet, feeding the 5,000, dying on a cross. Um, we need to ask God for forgiveness. Uh, if, if we have slipped into that mode, we need to ask God for forgiveness. At times, we may even need to ask other people for forgiveness and, uh, and confess that we've done wrong and, and not treated people well. But Jesus came to seek and to save sinners, and uh, he did that for us, and he asked us to do it for others as well. He asked us to reach out to the lost. I know there will be days when this feels impossible to do. You just can't do it on your own. And so we thank God, as Romans says, that God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. We ask God to help us not to be like the, the older brother. We, we want to be like the father. And uh, uh, I pray that for you, and I pray that for me as well. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your love and grace. Forgive us for those times, God, when we have acted very selfishly, We've been self-focused. We've whined and complained about things not going our way. And we've been bitter at the fact that maybe others seem to be treated better than we are. Uh, we feel, feel hard done by. Uh, as somebody said, we feel slapped down. Father, forgive us for feeling like that. We are always and always have been your children. And everything that you have is ours. You've made it available to us. So, Father, help us to... Um, overcome. Help us to show your love to others just as you did. Shine your love through our hearts by your Spirit. We pray that you would do that. Help us today. Lord, if there's someone in particular that we're struggling with today, I pray that you would help us and give us the love of Christ for them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch this. God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great day.